jam, y'all. Oh, you know what it is. So, this nice transition day, well, baby. Try to boom my transition already, but today, another y'all saw the video on YouTube, seeing his buddy at rest. Some nice positive comments. Some people just didn't think before they made comments. It's kind of strange that people don't engage their mind before they actually speak, type out whatever on social media. But anyway, keeping the, the legacy going. Uh, somebody asked me like earlier, what can you do? Keep doing what you're doing. Like, keep on keeping up. Keep on getting that holistic food. Keep on supporting your own people. Oh, man, I think I got some shout shoutouts, right? Just a couple of people who do it for self and kind. This one right here. This is Agent and Juices. And this sister here, I actually know her. See that? She mean it. She smashed her ankle though. So until she gets on the good foot. I'm not gonna say break a leg. But yeah, she's good. She does natural juices, especially the cucumber and the G12, real nice. No more listen. This sister right here. This is Vital Munch. They out of West London, full end. But what she does, she puts on um, like any event you see, she does a lot of the catering. And she introduces herself by, by way of giving free food out first, which is real nice. So anytime you see that fly on, Vital Munch support her. They was delivering London wine. You all know how big London is. It takes me doing it. This one here is just the Tamina, Tamina Miller. If you go on the internet, check out MVMS. Yeah, Expo 2016. This is an event coming up in the neighborhood, well, in the same bubble, but just over Islington Manor House. I'll be there. There are a lot of tables there. The home tree stand, booking the bar, will be there supporting that. A lot of events coming up. Right here, uh, etymology and comedic roots of words. This is one y'all don't want to miss, all right? This will be at the Power View Academy on West Street Road. So, the sisters, y'all know what it is, okay? Brother Dougie, Brother, uh, Brother Jammers, and then the book. Brother, my name's on it. That's gonna be on, on a look at these stupid. That's what they do. I'm gonna beat his ass every week, too. John can't do him, but I'm gonna try and keep it nice in my cut. But that's what they do. They see it, first do it for your boy. But anyway, come in every day, you know where I'm at in the block. Boom, 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 there's my car booking the bar. Oh, you stand, baby. This is just a short shout out video. It's not even too deep, it's not even complex, you know what I'm saying? On a day when, when, uh, a day when our father boom on is in our thoughts, you know, you all know this Dr. Savy. Keep the legacy alive. You know, I've always done the DVDs from way back in VHS cassette video days, like before even you, the cameraman was even born, probably. You heard me? I go way back like a throwback like that. So, yeah, keep it alive, come support the DVDs. Come support the posters, getting ready to do some talks this year and all that. Like support everybody's doing. The brother Dougie on um, SLR radio. A lot of there's a lot of events going on. There's a lot of things you can do. But question the food, the so-called food that you're eating. You know, these 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 stalls, these major stalls, and our name now. I don't care. Tesco, Sainsbury, and all these other state master stalls. They purport to sell you food, but by their definition alone, it's not even food. It's, it's drugs that they're giving you. They're all drugstores, like the pharmacales, like the pharmacies. They're all saucy. It's not real food. The only real food is electric food. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to cook that. You don't need to cook that. Like, some of you are in the kitchen for two hours. That's bananas, man. That's made no sense whatsoever. Whatsoever. You hear me? So, come and get your chops. You can holler at me one on one. And if you need to know, I break it down to you. So they try and buddy all of us. It can never do. I ain't scared, baby. <laughs> you hear me? So, camera man, any questions? Before I break out of here, just uh, real quick. It's a real quick step. Any questions today? Before I break out. I gotta go and make some packets now. <laughs> camera man. Yeah, um, that's the legacy of Bournemouth. Um, that's what I was going to say, man. Just talk to us a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Delbert Blair. And did you know about Francis Cross Wilson? Yes. You know, most of us have grown up in a book and I suspect. Yeah. I've got a DVD here, but nothing beats the actual book. But, you know, a lot of them are leaving the planet. And that's just, you know, some of the better known people 
can't forget, you know, Javon Martins. You can't forget your, your sister, the five-year-old child, just last week. You can't forget everybody that been taken out. Like, be careful out right there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, we some serious brokerage times. I mean, I must say it's quite a. <laughs> no, it's 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 actually quite scary though, man. Because I was just thinking, like, with Dr. Sebi passing away, um, the way that he did, I I just feel like you know we get so close, and then they just take us out again, you know. So where I mean, where do we go from here? It seems like, like we're never going to be able to get out of this situation where, at all, where, at all, where at all. Where we go from here? Go where we're going. I don't know if you follow that. People ask me, yo, Brooklyn, like, where you from? I'm like, well, I'm from where I'm going. You know what I mean? I acknowledge all our descendants. I know you heard me say this a million times. I acknowledge all my descendants, the people who from me. But I'm not trying to descend. I'm trying to build up my ascendants. You know what I mean? Leaving a legacy. Savings, like, uh, a beautiful man. I can describe it that way. No, no, no. There was a, there was a time when we could say, the man is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Got people coming from the homo connotation. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, yeah, Sabre was a beautiful man. Like my, my man, Muhammad Ali, was a beautiful man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will say, like, yeah, they were down with this, with this legacy of Muhammad Ali when he went. Especially some of the black sportsmen. Oh, the focus around them. A lot of the, the, the sportsmen, especially in the UK, because we know that the Queen Elizabeth of the UK, England, is not a country's corporation. She tried to hijack the whole timeline when they was uh, putting Muhammad Ali's buddies to rest. Right. For, uh, and it was her Earth Day or whatever. It was, it was like three Earth Days a year. I don't know for what, what her human what self, her reptilian self. What, what self? Okay, it was a bitch. Yeah, that one. What cracked me up is that where they had it, to St. Paul's Cathedral, some mystic place in, in Troy, in the real city of London. This is not real London. That's, you know, down there is the real London, right? Wherever it was, you had all these black personalities, TV actors, sports people, whatever. And they're all there with their medals on. And for those who are outside of the UK, these, these awards and medals that they're wearing are called MBEs and OBEs. Now the BE actually stands for the British Empire. And the Queens give it to them, and they're coming off like they're 19 or something, like it's something to be proud of. And some of these same dudes, athletes, whatever, boxers, I said it. But it's black people kind of sports personalities. They're saying it was down by Muhammad Ali, saying he was champion of the people's Lord. And then be an example by some examples. That day would have been the perfect day to show to, to take your, your trophy, your little token trophy, your little, you know, not the rest of them, Kuni trophy, your MB, your OB. It would have been the perfect time to take off that trophy with the from the Queen of England. And that shit in the Thames River alone. And the reason I said that because you say you'll go down with Mamma and all that, and they buried him on the same day as Queen Elizabeth, which is celebrate her birthday. What happened when he came after the games? Come man, you know the story, right? When he got back to Louisville and he tried to get um, served in the restaurant, you know what he didn't serve, dude, right? Right, yeah, yeah. He just represented the Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come back home now. What is happening? Why? Because his skin tone. Because these freckles are so close. You know, our freckles are so close. What is happening? Get some man done though. He's like, alright, cool. I'll dash your medal. Louis in a rip. That's it. So why isn't Bruno, Linford Christie, I don't know the name of this. Uh, what's that guy who does that sneaky pathetic, that desert boy looking guy? Highly, yeah. What's that athlete? What's that athlete who does that shit? Mo, Mo Farah. Mo Farah. Yeah, desert looking guy, right? Why didn't he throw, I know he must have got MB and all that. All of them anyway, you know, he's picking them on dude. Like, why didn't you throw your, your BEs, your British Empire trophies, into the Thames River London? You know what I'm saying? If you read down Muhammad Ali and your own people, like you purport to be, I think it's a disgrace. But guess what? Y'all know I follow soccer, right? My team is Manchester City, yeah, we the best. We're gonna beat this semester, we're gonna beat everyone. Can't make us laugh, but you know, we're gonna <laughs> come you out. But anyway, my homie, fucking Manchester, in uh, on my side, he sent me a text today. And this text is like real nice, right? Come in a bit closer. And exactly the same thing I was trying to talk about right there, 
right? This is what the what he sent me. It says uh, a former Liverpool player, that's Liverpool soccer team, Liverpool football team, up there in the northwest England, about 250 miles away from where we stand right now in London, right? This former player, soccer player for Liverpool football team, right? He said uh, accepting an accolade won't be a betrayal, well, would be a betrayal to Africans who died or suffered as a result of the British Empire. Now this is a soccer player who the Queen wanted to, because people nominate people, and the Queen just signs it up for all that shit, you know? So basically the Stitching Brothers is so. So they tried to get this player to accept an award, but he know his stuff, he know his story, he can't be tricked. That's knowledge yourself, you can't, he know our story, as opposed to his story. This is not a racist thing, but his story is history, the European story, which is not my story. This is not a mystery, my story. You know, learn the etymology. So he told me, nah, that'd be a betrayal to all people of African descent. I like that brother. I really do like that. So as I said, why aren't these other so-called stars spoken up against the British Empire? Which doesn't really exist. Come on, yo. And people can, and it's not an attack on, on I got many Caucasian European friends, many who I go to soccer games with and all that. Oh, no fun. But when people start singing like, you know, rule Britannia and all that, Britannia rules the waves, was it Britain will never ever be slaves? I don't know the lyrics of the song. Maybe you know off my heart, can't <laughs> If we taught you that in school, but when they say British never be slave, pardon me, yo, you need to all go back to William the Conqueror and all them days there, and find out the definition of of, uh, of serfs. S E R F S. Check out my boy Dr. Bada Shango. Yeah, man, get with the book. Oh, another shout out to the BCP brothers, my lions, who normally beside me out here, but now they're on tour. Well, on the road, they're hitting bricks and every day with the books. And they hit Shepherd's Bush and they hit Stratford. You know them as Brother Norm, Lion Norm, Brother Solomon, it's Lion Solomon, and, and, and Brother Leon, Lion Leon. Three lions represent. And they got a good um, shout out in the Voice newspaper. Yeah, UK, London, England. I think they got to send us a uh, page in the Voice newspaper. Go and get the Voice newspaper to support this edition. And it talks about the three brothers who you know, who everybody know, you all know, that's my brothers right there. I know all their mamas and all that, you dig me? And they rep really represent and taking it on the road. They're very labor is what they do. So if you see them in your neighborhood, don't support them. Also support my brother, um, I saw Mikey on 120 West Street Road in this neighborhood right here. He's got the store called The Light Show. You dig me? Just support each other, like, call in your resources. It's time to support. Stop hating. Um, I'm tired of you and Oh, you hear this kiss my brown ass? Yeah, I said it. Because the other day I spoke about Sabi, some woman, and she said, like, yeah, he's not the first one. I'm like, why you hear Like, get off of that, man. So you like, say something positive, or don't say something, or don't say anything at all. Or when you see me, looking in the bar, just keep it moving, keep on trucking. If you don't like me, because I got haters, if you don't like what I'm about, keep on trucking. But don't go to the subway train like, yo, Brooklyn. What did the police say? The police don't give me no trouble, so you don't hear me cast the police out. You dig me? It's, it's nice, right? It's very disrespectful to do that, yeah? You see this guy's got a camera in the camera. Why do, why do your people do that? I know your mama told you better, right? You see somebody speaking. Imagine where you live. I can yeah. actually your house. I peer in your, I peer in your, your, your fence. <laughs> You'd be offended, right? And you laughing. It's ridiculous yeah. how you all do that. It's getting a bit... Crazy. I know you're out of sync, but if you see somebody conversating, don't interrupt. You see somebody funny, don't interrupt. Unless you're gonna help them. Now, you came all the way over here. What's your question? What is this? <laughs> this is DVD. Oh? It's, it's cultural studies. It's not CD, it's not music. It's not hip hop, it's not jungle, it's none of that shit. It's like, it's information. It's not like the way people look. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's not even color coded. No, no, no. Huh? No, no, no. In my country. Uh, See, this is your European ignorance. Uh, What's my country? I don't know. Like, well, tell me. But what made you say what maybe from Jamaica? Your... See, so they think every black person. <laughs> maybe I say maybe. Hey, yo, yo, no, 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 no. You're, you're fooling right into this. No, this is good. This is good. But you said yeah, maybe Jamaica. Maybe like, Ghana. Think... No, hold on, hold on. You, you, what you all do? Do you think every single person of color who's in London town? It's from you, Jamaica. You can uh, uh, work here in the England, yeah? No, know. but I'm saying, like, you, you assume that they teach... Listen, the educational system, they taught us badly. They taught you badly. Right, they, they messed us all up. So, every, every olive-skinned European is not Greek. 
So every every copper skin Nubia like me is not Jamaican. I'm listening to you. You want something to smoke? Right. Now cool, listen to this, listen to this. You see me doing a video about health and nutrition, right? I don't tell you what I'm about, yeah? Yeah? No, listen, don't be don't even run away. But you do what a lot of Europeans do. You assume, because I'm copper skin, that I sell drugs. You just asked me, I want something to smoke. No. Your father me looks like a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? On a normal day, when people come and say that, I smack them. But I'm trying not to be violent, I'm trying to be peaceful. But what, what made you assume that I sell drugs? What made you assume that, that I've got weed? And even this, look, look, this is proof for it, right? He looks at this, yeah? I designed my cupboards. But the DVD says herbal healing. Herbal mm. healing. Yeah, but not weed. Not weed. You want weed. You want to find a drug dealer. But what you're going to realize is that not every person of color is a drug dealer. Some of us say your parents. What people used to say to me, I used to, I used to, I used to slap them. I used to slap them. I used to go, yeah. When people used to say to me, I used to take a fan. I'm sick. I used to, no, listen, listen. I used to take offense, and then I go and fight them. Because I take offense that they're asking me if I so weird. And they don't know me from Adam. They don't even know, I'm not even from Adam, you are. But that's not story. What I'm saying is that I know places that like drugs. That's me. No, I'm just me. I don't like drugs. You know what I'm saying? The, the weed what you're all after is really the, the endocannabinoids is in my system. So I know any drugs. Knowledge is my natural eye. But what I'm saying is that what you Europeans do is make a mistake assuming that every person of color sells drugs. If I was selling drugs, do you think this table would be here right now? Look at the posters. Look. Like there's a correlation. Do you think the police will the police yeah, know what everybody does? Do you think you. the police will allow me to be you see, see me every day? Yeah, you see me every day. Right. But today you asked me do I sell drugs? You said can I get you something to smoke? Do you see me smoke? So what made you think I sold drugs? No, but no, do I look at my eyes? Look at my eyes, babe. Do I, do, I look, do I look high? You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm doing? You don't realize. I'm a teacher, right? I'm helping you not to get to beat down from the next brother. Because you're gonna go to somebody, say something at the wrong time, wrong okay, and they're probably gonna snap you. You know, that's what we know for doing, right? Niggas are known for fucking stuff. So I'm trying to save you from your ass kicks. In the wrong neighborhood. Because you can't go up to every person, every couple of um, person and say, can you give me some stuff? No, it's not bullshit. Why, why did you ask me out of everybody else, can I get you weed? But, yeah, but what, if I gave you any, any inclination to say okay, okay, I don't have time. Thank My you. man, come on in. Check this out, right? We here educate, right? On a day like we say the past, right? He knows what we go for. But he saw all of this. He saw the pictures. He saw the posters. And guess what he said? He said, yo, man, do you know where I can score any smoke? Now, we go for this every day. I don't, I don't tell him, dude, like, yo, back in the day, I I'm 49 years old. Back in the day, I would have took a fence, jumped over the table, and slapped his ass down. But I'm like, I'm out the peace for right now. Go ahead. Tuesday. Come on in. Yeah. Tuesday, oh, it's literally right here. Just come back. Yeah. I'm talking to you. See, I'm talking to you. That's what he does. That's the, the first violation is that you're coming in. You see a cameraman pointing, and you come in, you're home on in. There's no respect. They, they're coming in your circumference. And, and they think that the whole world's going to stop for them. And then it, it's always a silly question. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like 10 of us here building a cycle, or building knowledge, right? And they're always there. But what some of these people do is come up the subway, come from work, come straight into the conversation, and break the whole cycle to ask a silly question like, like, excuse me, where was Western Road? I'm like, it's right there. Where's the rabble? It's right there. Where's Tesla? It's right there. Like, don't you engage your mind before you speak? They, they come up with some people don't. But remember, we're in a daytime now where it's two different paradigms. It's two different worlds clashing. There's the knows and the know nuts. Not the have and have nuts. It's those who know and those who don't know. You need to get to know what's going on in our planet. It's all about energy. So the energy is all off key. Yes, I understand that they've been on the plantation all day at work. See? Okay. They're, they're out of sync. That's how stupid they are. Like literally, it's like zombies. I'm not even banging on them, but it's out of sync. Like this sidewalk is big. It's unlike any other sidewalks in London. You know what I'm saying? This sidewalk is enormous. But you walking out, they still bump into you and then say, "Sorry, I'm." Come on, 
And I put it down to the food for the end, first of all, because you are what you eat. If you're eating shit, you're gonna think shit, talk shit, and you're gonna act like shit. You're gonna be all over the place like flies on shit. And that's what's happening. You dig me? We live beings, and they're dense, they're, they're with density in life. You know what I mean? So, you know. But with that, we're gonna count on another day. But every day is getting worse, 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 and worse. Keep, keep, uh, keep my man, Alfredo, boom, his legacy alive. You all know him as Dr. Sabi. Keep that alive, stay healthy, get the veil filled, get rid of this bullshit, eating this fruit and veg on the sidewalk, it's all fake, it's all hybrid. Learn about alkalinity. Go ahead, question. Oh, they straight butted in. They straight, straight butted in, but um, today we're not gonna, we're not gonna um, entertain that talk. I'm not a few gonna come out, but today is about him. Just, well, the physical transcendent, we know he transcended into peace, and we know energy can be to pain, so we're gonna pay our part. So it's about supporting, Keeping the resources in our community and our community is coming in. We do, we do exercise Black Wall Street, we do Black Friday, we don't score Everson. We got, we got the remedy right here. The people walk past every single day, you know what I mean? And they're gonna do it again, they're gonna walk right in front of the camera. So, like, right now, uh, we're gonna shut it down. Should they both know how, because they're nothing too, they don't know how to show respect. It's just like, Lady <laughs> bus is like walk by the front. I don't know how people do that. Like, how do you do that naturally? So we gotta cut them down, shut down, see you tomorrow. Book in the whole two stem, also the nine field, two sixty one twenty four. Look at that. It just come in. Just bumbles. It's like I do this every day.